other and they loved each other and they played around. And so Sarah was kind of used to just being a kid like now. And then when she went into this school where she had to be totally quiet, sit up straight, not say anything, she was just shocked. We caught up with Liesl as she arrived, princess style, to shop in a bookstore in Beverly Hills. Keeping her company was her Little Princess co-star, Vanessa Chester. <gasps> America American Cin cinema, 100 years of, of filmmaking. filmmaking. Both girls love to read. Our cameras eavesdropped as they bypassed the children's section in favor of Hollywood history. Shirley! <laughs> Oh, like oh, she has the cutest cheeks. I love I the little dresses she wore. I know. Oh, westerns. Yeah, a lot Clint of Eastwood. Western. The Mickey Mouse Club. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, this has got to be funny. She's so pretty. Annette Flynn uh, from Cello. She's so pretty. When Liesl's not reading, she, too, loves telling stories and creating her own characters. Sarah told them really dramatically, and she got all wrapped up in, in the feelings of the characters and she told it with such enthusiasm. Their ship was attacked. Sometimes I like take little dolls or something and kind of act it out just to see how it would work. I think the little princess was very sad. It was yeah. sad. It was like a tearjerker. I started to cry. Mommy cried even and I almost did. I like um I think it's important for kids to have a good imagination because if they're in a situation that's sort of uncomfortable, like Sarah was in, they can use their imagination to kind of make it a little better. The message is that all girls are princesses. That's sort of the punchline of the whole movie. But also, if you believe in magic and if you believe that good things can come, they will. A group 